Um, let's talk about the Nike previewed shoes that just have dropped here, courtesy of Complex, right? So Nike used to do this before. I don't know why they stopped, but this was a thing that happened a lot back in the day. But I guess maybe now with um, forum culture basically dead and buried, there's not really a central place to see leaked images or even official images of upcoming shoes. Because I remember before you'd see people that worked in stores, people that were buyers, people that were agents, people that were just working in the industry would share little line sheet images of like, oh, here's what Adidas has got planned. Here's New Balance's new thing. I went to the showroom. Here's a picture. You don't get that inf shit anymore, really, to be honest. Now you get maybe leak. Now you get maybe rep companies or rep factories in china who get shoes early to copy they might leak stuff or maybe these professional leakers but you don't really get a lot of that kind of industry inside the stuff and there's no real central place to find it so it is what it is nike i guess are doing their own type of promotion and heads up with these official images that they provided to complex um, regarding sneakers uh, shoes that are going to be coming out on sneakers soon right and the article says as follows here um nike just previewed tons of sneakers dropping 2024 um it says every so often every sneaker brand tries to get ahead of the leakers by unveiling some of the upcoming releases the latest example is of this nike's first ever sneakers showcase event today where the brand revealed upcoming releases that were arriving throughout 2024 I actually prefer these. I don't mind. I don't, I don't actually don't. I, st I don't mind both approaches. I don't mind leaker stuff. And also don't mind the official stuff. Like give me the leaks of some fat dude holding a fucking new pair of Air Maxes about to drop. But also I want to see this sort of stuff. Do you know what I mean? I actually don't mind Nike deciding, hey, we're going to take official pictures so that you can have an idea on what we're dropping and that you can see it lit up properly lace properly all that good stuff i don't really mind this stuff to be fair the only thing i don't like is that they don't lace it properly look they don't relace the shoes that's a fucking really big faux pas so let's scroll down and see what we got here first we got a women's ah oh, this is fucking annoying it's a women's it's not a men's so the women's air max 186 with a big window that's an 86 right it's going to be releasing that royal blue colorway but it's a women's only that's fucking annoying that's such a legendary and beautiful color. And of course, the big window, the massive airbag, that's what they've done to kind of, um, this is obviously a nod to the original sketches of the Air Max 1 that Tinker Hatfield um, designed back in the day. Obviously, 1986 had a much bigger airbag or no, had a much bigger window. I think the airbag's still the same, but the window was a bit bigger. And if I'm not mistaken, the reason why they stopped doing it is because over time, the polyurethane would crumble or the air bubbles themselves would pop, if I'm not mistaken. I think the popping was mostly to do with Air Max 95s. They pumped them up too much. That's why they deflated them and then encased them in the fucking midsole so they kind of aren't as protruding, which is annoying. That's why if you buy um air max 95s vintage ones from like the early 2000s you'll see that they have really exaggerated bulbous airbags because you know they were made to look really crazy and kind of exaggerated but nowadays they kind of look a bit tame but these air max ones look fucking beautiful in a royal blue but it's annoying that they're only women's hopefully this is a typo and maybe there will be a men's release also but it says only women's there then continuing on, we've got the return of the Air Max 180. Oh, I love these shoes. These are very underrated Air Max. Um, a bit of a, you know, a bit of a slivet shape, a bit more of a sock feel. Um, they don't really look the greatest with jeans. I don't think so. They probably would suit wearing kind of shorts and whatnot. But I always love the Air Max um, 180. Um, I love how the airbag is basically exposed underneath here. You have like the air unit here and basically some tread underneath. It's not kind of encased. I kind of like that clear thing and when you flip them underneath you kind of can see the air bubble there so air max 80s are one of my favorite pairs to be honest air maxes um we've got them in the classic ultramarine colorway fucking perfect i'm definitely gonna get a pair of these these look fucking beautiful um you've also got an air sneaker an air what an air sndr max highlight green i've never been a fan of the the air, the nikes with the zips to be honest these came out i'm going to be assuming late 90s early 2000s um it's kind of come back into vogue now because of that whole y2k trend these look very y2k ish right wear these with a pair of oakley's and stuff you're going to be swagging it out and usually they would have laces underneath this zip but i've just never been a fan of this type of silhouette or shoe it's a pass for me don't really care um the footscape wovens absolutely beautiful this is a quintessential sneakerhead sneaker shoe um i think made popular more so by the you know our japanese and other extended asian mandem they're the ones that really put the fucking footscape woven on the fucking map and then i think europeans took it and ran with it with the big pin rolls um wearing these together absolutely look brilliant i love those we've got an air terra humara which i'm a big fan of again not lovely shoe if i'm not mistaken 
um, this tomorrow, they're actually going to do a collaboration with Undefeated happening soon so these are gonna be looking great actually i love these really good model um actually i'd prefer to wear these over a pair of salomons they're a bit you know a little bit um different to wearing salomons in terms of shape but they kind of do the same thing of course if they were to bring out a pair that had gore-tex and shit i'd be all over them but definitely like that model we've got pegasus wave in black oh i love these i'm not really too familiar with the model the pegasus wave but i actually like the look of these you also got the pegasus 2k5 in this white and grand and grand and gradient colorway Maybe I'll take that over the black one, actually. This is probably a better colorway. These look incredible, isn't it? I love these. Wow. I haven't actually heard of this model before, to be honest. But these look really cool. Um, then we've got a Pegasus 2K5 again in the various colorways. So you've got, oh, that white colorway here is really nice. This is a vintage Pegasus. That is really beautiful. That white colorway is fucking gorgeous. I wonder if we're going to see somebody do a, a collaboration with these fashion brand. Because these look really good. That white and red colorway is awesome. Um, as is this pink one. And also this black and yellow one too. These are probably my my favorite colorways. This this one here at the top, the white and pink, and this kind of yellow, gray, and black as well. These are probably two of my favorites. The blue and the white and black ones are not really for me, but those three are really nice. I like them. Um, we've got a clog posit. Ah, oh, awful. I fucking hate, hate, hate that model anyway. Right? The posit, the foam posits, whatever. I fucking hate them. They're big in New York. Um, American sneakerheads fucking love them, but I absolutely hate them, right? They're so fucking ugly. And they're making them in clogs. Like, no thank you. I'll pass on them. But I think all the fashion girlies are going to like them, to be fair. But no thank you. You've got an ACG Rufus. Oh, I love the look of these, actually. It looks, like a, it looks like an Air Mock, right? It looks like an Air Mock. One of my favorite shoes, right? Nike Air, or Nike Mock ACG. It looks like one of my favorite fucking shoes ever but it's been given a fatter sole that looks like right you see the the, the the fucking mock that if i'm not mistaken was modeled after a fucking potato which is hilarious but it's also an, a really good you know all-terrain shoe for the hiking and whatnot and for the bouldering mandem out there i always fucking love mocks i need to actually get another new pair of them but they actually look like a mock with a fucking thicker sole and obviously done in a clog shape i really love them i'm not too mad at these you've got an acg izzy in black it looks like, oh, so that looks like the same model. So that is a Rufus. And the Izzy is the same shoe, but it's been made in like a, more of a trainer with like a zip on it. So more like a mid-cut, like a chucker. Eh. I think I prefer actually this this model more, to be fair. This HG Rufus is probably the better model, there, especially in that green, almost dark green olive colorway. And this nice leather um, seam trim here on the top is really beautiful. I'm not going to lie. We've also got this ATG Explorade. Not for me, but... Oh, actually, no. I like that. I just saw this um, faux carbon fiber trim here on the midsole. I like these. They've got another colorway of these. I fucking like these, actually. These are really nice. I'm not too mad at these at all. You've got an ATG Mountain Fly Low GTX Phantom. That's a fucking mouthful. Not really for me, personally. Oh, one of my favorites. Oh, these are hard. ACG Toro Mid. This is this is right up my alley. Right up my alley. The only thing I would say as a fucking as a edit on these boots, I love the plush suede or new buck on the upper. I love that the this isn't even a mesh. It feels like it looks like canvas. I love the rope laces, right? ACG feel. Or there are ACGs. One thing I think I would edit if I could do it, I'd actually get them resold. I don't like the sole. The sole's a bit too thin for me. The sole's a bit too light in the ass. I might want to resole this and have the midsole uh, be a, maybe a couple of inches, a couple of millimeters bigger, and then maybe have a thicker tread on the outsole. Maybe a vibrant something. I might. That's what I would probably do. Maybe I'd, I'd resole them a bit, make them look a little bit chunkier as a sole, what, sole unit to match the upper. But I do like that boot. That's really fucking nice. ACG Torre Mid. Um, we've got an SB Dunk Low. Again, I'm, I'm bored of dunks. Dunks can get fucked next year. Please, no more dunks for me. I'm fucking bored of that silhouette. We've got SBD, SB Dunk Low, City of Love. Again, don't give a fuck. You've got another one, City of Love, in another colorway. Don't care. Um, then we've got... Uh, oh, these are great. LD100, LD1000 SPs. So good. This, these remind me of... Um, didn't they do this as a collaboration with Junior Watanabe, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, Junior Watanabe Nike LD 1000. I'm pretty sure. 
there was a Nike LDs done by Junior Watanabe, Com de Garçon times back in the day. Yeah, there we go. I knew it. I knew I was right. See my references. I fucking knew it. I knew it, bro. I knew it. Uh, oh, it's going to show an image, right? Let me show the picture of it so you can see. But these came out, I think, in the early 2000s. And they were vintage distressed style with like the stained midsole, the scuffed uppers, the dyed laces. Like these were fucking awesome when they dropped, man. Just a shame I've got my feet are so fat and wide that you see all my toes protruding at the front when I'm trying to wear them. But these are such a good shoe, such a good model in the various colorways. This purple colorway is fucking beautiful, right? This waffle, these are these came out a while ago. These are done by, again, a collaboration with Junior. I'm pretty sure there was a Junior collaboration with them as well um, that came out. I'm pretty sure if I'm mistaken. But these are early 2000s. Yeah, there you go. See, You see the Junior label there, don't you? You can see the Com de Garçon label there, Junior Watanabe on the inside there junior watanabe nike whatever it may be let's continue there um you've also got an air a foam posit eggplant oh that colorway is going to be popular that that's the classic colorway everybody likes i actually don't mind the foam posits to be fair in the actual colorway that fucking um eggplant original colorway is fucking beautiful they look really good in shorts. I'm not too sure if they're going to look good in my size 11 feet but they look not too bad you also got a foam posit in royal oh these are gonna, these are gonna, these are gonna fucking break sneakers. American fucking sneakerheads love foam posits, man. Especially guys from New York, they fucking love foam posits. They love foam posits probably more than they love Jordan Elevens. <laughs> they fucking love foam posits. So those are gonna do great. You got a Dunklo, um, Kodot JP reverse curry colorway. Don't care about Dunklos again. This, this is a really um legendary colorway actually. The silver and blue Dunklo. These are gonna do really well as well. People are gonna be all over them. Also the, oh wow, the reverse Ultraman colorway. If these came out in the Dunk High, I'd be all over them. That's actually a lovely colorway. That gray and red is fucking beautiful to be fair. I'm not gonna lie. And then that's about it. But yeah, new updates for sneakers coming soon. And I think we've got a last couple of pictures here from people um, regarding the ones that I want, which are these ACG boots. They come in that brown colorway. That one I showed you before with the brown and the dark green. And then we've also got Mac attacks happening soon as well. Mac attacks in that white, in that leather white with the yellow. I'm all for these as well. I'm all over them. They look really fucking good. The Mac attacks look fucking awesome, actually. I'm not I'm not mad at the Mac attacks in the slightest. I'm not mad at the Mac attacks in the absolute slightest. So big up those when they eventually do end up dropping. Big up those. See if I can cut the load on there. Come on. Can you load for me? Can you load for me? Let's see the Mac attacks load for me. Bear with me a second as I get them to load. Is it going to load? There we go. Yeah, Mac attacks there in that white and yellow. They look really good there. That's a fucking nice fucking shoe. I'm not mad at that in the slightest. I'm not mad at that in the absolute slightest. So yeah, big up the Mac attacks. Love them. Absolutely love them.